I'm going to extract the DNA from this kiwi fruit. Now, it doesn't have to be a kiwi. You can use an onion or strawberries. Raid the fruit bowl and pick what you fancy. You can even use defrosted frozen peas if you haven't got anything fresh. You're also going to need some ice cold alcohol. I'm using methylated spirits and it needs to be in the freezer for half an hour before you start the experiment. You could try something like vodka or very strong white rum as well. And you're going to need a fine sieve or you could use coffee filter paper. I'm just using a tea strainer. The first thing I'm going to do is peel the skin off the kiwi. So now I'm going to chop it up into small pieces. And then I'm going to start mashing it. This is to start breaking up the cells and to give us a bigger surface area to extract the DNA from. The next thing you need to do is mix together two grams of salt with 100 millilitres of water and add this to five grams of washing up liquid so mix the three things together, try and do it quite gently because you don't want loads of foam and bubbles but you do need to stir until the salt's dissolved. This is called an extraction buffer. It doesn't really matter about the terminology. It's basically going to help to break up the cells even further and stop the DNA from degrading. So next you're going to add this to your kiwi mix. Now, keep mashing because the more you mash, the more DNA you will get. The final step is just to warm up the kiwi mix and to do that, I'm just using a bowl of warm water. I've used boiling water from the kettle, added some cold so it's lukewarm. And I'm going to leave that sitting in there for 15 minutes and again this is just to help release more of the DNA. So the next thing is to strain the kiwi mix oh, I'm spilling a bit of it Now this lovely green liquid has got our kiwi DNA in it, but we still can't see it, which is where the alcohol comes in. Now pour the alcohol very gently down the side of the glass and it should float out over the surface of the kiwi mix because it's actually less dense. Now, you need to look very carefully at the join between the two liquids and you'll see tiny white strands and filaments forming. And that's the kiwi DNA. And I can just very carefully use a paper clip to start hooking some of it out. And that is DNA, the blueprint of life. Now, to find out more about DNA, what it does and why it's important, you need to join in with the online discussion.